Good evening. What's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in on the channel on this Monday evening, June 21st, 2021's a date, about 6.48 p.m. California time, and the latest quake out there on the globes. The globe, I should say, is going to be a 3.2, kind of a deep earthquake up there, up into the Pacific Northwest. Let's go ahead and check out uh, some Yellowstone activity first. There was quite the swarm kicking up earlier in the day so far the usgs has uh, uh marked down about 51 earthquakes or so within this region right around the uh, caldera area northwest part of the caldera at yellowstone national park not volcanic folks uh there's been um, swarms in the past and they'll be continue they'll continue to be swarms but it's been a while since we've seen a pretty good sized swarm i just I've mentioned that in quite a few of my uh, videos. Now this swarm, um, this is the current overview, current overview of the uh, Yellowstone stations out there. And within the past hour or so, things have calmed down, but not, not completely. It's still a couple earthquakes here within the last hour, uh, hour and a half it looks like. But for a while there, man, it was really kicking. Um, 52 earthquakes, is that what they're saying? And yeah, there may be a little bit more, I mean, possibly a few more on top of that 52, which I'm sure they'll decipher through the clutter um, once they get time. You can see it showed up all over the north, northwest part of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, these are uh, not big quakes. They were not big quakes at all. In fact, if you look at the all or the uh, 2.5, there was only two that was, <clears throat> that was above 2.5. And one was a little bit further down south here, <coughs> well away from the swarm, excuse me. But uh, either way, earthquake activity nonetheless, variable depths for these earthquakes, um, all the way down, or all the way up, I should say, from about 1.9 kilometers down to seven kilometers. Um, so interesting activity, but purely uh, plate tectonic action at, uh, here at Yellowstone National Park. We had seen quite a bit of movement into the inner, inner mountain west region Good Lord, um, over the past few weeks. So it's just a matter of time before we brush up against the, uh, oh, the North American Craton area, right? Where we kind of squeeze some things and uh, get some stuff happening there. But uh, we're keeping a close eye on it. Um, you know, Yellowstone's a super volcano, but it's purely plate tectonic uh, activity here. If Yellowstone were to uh, begin to erupt or, or show signs of eruption, we would see significant earthquake activity. Uh, I'm talking fives and sixes, um, probably one right after another. Uh, and so far, we haven't seen that in the years past. I mean, I've seen some significant swarms that lasted for months on end. Uh, this one here just started today. And, you know, who knows? That may be it. That may be the last of the uh, swarming. But it was kind of cool to watch there for a little bit. See that uh, showing up pretty significantly there on that station. Lots and lots of earthquakes there. All right, Pacific Northwest. What's going on up there around Washington? Washington State, a 3.2 at 44 kilometers below surface. Anyone want to guess where that's at? Down dip downstream of the Cascadia subduction zone. It's around the uh, the depth of uh, the slow slip trimmer. So still some buildup uh, and some pressure out here applying the... Uh, uh, dynamics of uh, releasing sizable, well, I shouldn't say sizable, but uh, stronger than the trimmer activity. Um, more of a, definitely more of a powerful magnitude than what we normally see on the uh, uh, trimmer map. Let's go ahead and check that trimmer map out real quick here in the, uh, okay, I opened up the wrong one. There we go. Let's open up this one. Uh, only about 10. 10 epicenters of trimmer, and that's down here, way down here, uh, southwest part of Oregon, it looks like. Energy, M energy release, these are very small. Um, and of course, not earthquakes, but uh, more or less like vibrational type uh, slow slippage. So, yep, yeah, watching the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's, you know, a little bit of movement off the coast here, too. Off the coast of Oregon, a uh, 3.2 south of the Blanco fracture zone. We seen an earthquake last night right on that fracture. 
today, uh, like I say, within the last <clears throat> little bit of time, we, uh, oh, within the last couple hours, I should say, it looks like uh, we've seen that earthquake off the coast here of Oregon. And also another one here south onto the uh, Mendocino Fault Structure 1.4. I'm gonna make sure I got everything going here. Okay, I do. <laughs> it's one of those days. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Southern Cal, pretty quiet. Uh, things calming down around the Salton Sea area. Only a handful of earthquakes there, uh, microquakes in the Salton Sea region. Some movement up around Rancho Cucamonga and a little bit of movement uh, off the coast there of Newport Beach area. Um, and also Fullerton. Anaheim area, a little small microquake. And uh, things are kind of calming down here, it looks like, in Southern California for right now. But, you know, never, never let your guard down, let me tell you. Smaller earthquake out near Thermalito, Oroville area. Lake Oroville sits up here. Thermalito After Bay. It's kind of a, just a small little quake. I wouldn't be su surprised if we start seeing a lot more of those due to the, uh, the, the amount of wells, the water wells that are being uh, dried up around here. And that could ultimately add uh, some quakes to our future. Uh, what else we got here? Texas, Oklahoma, kind of covered that earlier. We've seen a little bit of movement at 2.3 near uh, Camargo. Camargo. Is that correct? If not, man, I'll tell you what. I'm sure I'll get an email. Uh, a little bit of movement towards Kansas border as well. Uh, nothing significant at the moment. And Puerto Rico kind of calming down as well. This is the all magnitudes. Only a handful of quakes in the region. Things uh, appear to be quieting down for the moment. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. We mentioned that uh, six-pointer, 5.9. Looks like got downgraded earlier this morning, uh, right about the time I did the update on the Yellowstone um, activity. And also, uh, you know, this this one right here is pretty uh, pretty good size earthquake here for this region around Greece, uh, out there in the uh, uh, GNC or Sea of Crete, sorry, Sea of Crete area, 10.8 nine kilometers below the surface for that 5.7 almost a uh, almost a six pointer there folks um let's see where this was felt at uh, not a whole lot of responses out there certain areas a few people reported filling it in these areas of turkey greece uh, into that region of course seismic activity uh, very high <clears throat> over the uh, years in this region no stranger to uh, significant movement out there let me tell you all right, folks, so keep an eye on Yellowstone. You know, sometimes it, it comes, it goes. It, uh, it, it it can go for months, as I mentioned. We'll see if this continues or not. But uh, it's cool to watch, nonetheless. I love watching Yellowstone activity. It's just been a, Yellowstone's been a big topic and subject of mine for many, many years. Uh, I finally got to visit that area last year. Uh, it was pretty awesome. It was awesome in the terms of the wilderness and the scenery. Traffic, not so much. Let me tell you, it's almost like driving in a uh, in like a big city up there. It was not that was not enjoyable. That was not the enjoyable part. But scenery definitely pretty cool. All right, folks, I'm gonna jump off here. Um, we'll catch you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.